Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. This video is all about fixing the issue while launching the game Valorant. You get an error code WAN1 and WAN1067 back to back and you are not able to play the game. So without wasting time, let's go ahead and directly proceed with the resolution. First of all, in the basic step, if you have installed REWASD, a Kiri mapping software, make sure you completely uninstall it. Second software is Valorant Tracker. Again, if you have installed it, uninstall it from your system. After uninstalling REWASD and Valorant Tracker, thirdly, you need to download a tool with the name Auto. Download directly from the Microsoft official website and save it into your PC. Once it is saved, open the zip folder and click on the option Extract All. Once extracted, right click on Auto Run 64 and choose the option Run as Administrator. Now from the list which is highlighted with yellow and red color, you must uncheck it. For example, this first one is highlighted with yellow. So you need to uncheck it. Again, scroll down and if you find any other entry which is highlighted with yellow and red, make sure you uncheck it. After doing so, go ahead and restart your PC. Restart is a mandatory step. So make sure to restart your PC and then relaunch the game. If this failed to work out, in next step, Click on start menu and type in PowerShell and choose the option run as administrator. Now in PowerShell, you need to paste two commands one by one. I will share both these commands right in the description of this video. Copy and paste in the PowerShell and then hit the enter key. Now type in Y and hit the enter key again. After doing so, copy the second script and paste right over here again and then hit the enter key. Once it is done, again make sure to restart your PC and relaunch the game. If this also failed, right click on taskbar and choose option task manager. Now at the time of launching your Roid client or your Valorant, click on this details tab and right over here you will find Roid client as well as Valorant right over here. So what you need to do is to right click on the Roid client and choose option set priority and set it to normal. Same thing you need to do with Valorant also. Right click on Valorant, set priority and make sure it must be selected as normal. Then close it. After doing so, right click on start menu, choose option run, type percentage, local app data percentage and then hit the enter key. Now press the V key to find a folder with the name Valorant. Now you will find a folder with the name save. Right click on this folder and choose option delete. Once you have done so, go ahead and relaunch the game and hopefully the issue of WAN1 and WAN1067 will be completely fixed out. So that's all about it friends. If this video works out for you, I request you to please click on the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification icon to continue receiving updates from my channel. Thank you so much friends. Thank you for watching.